Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very different video. The Leafs made a trade, and I have to make this old school styles. The full trade hasn't come out yet, but I want to talk about the players involved. Specifically, someone that I really, really liked, Miko Lettinen is gone. And I know what you'll say, Willie is the 7th defenseman. How are you getting attached to a 7th defenseman? I liked his KHL film. I thought he was a better player than Travis Dermott when I watched his KHL film. Obviously, I'm not always right. Travis Dermott has stepped up. But I do think Miko Lettinen is a very, very, very solid 7th defenseman. And on a lot of teams, he'd be in that top 6 quite easily. And where I do worry is that what we got in return, Veni Ve... I'm going to butcher this, aren't I? Veni Vehalininen... Uh, we got him in return. He is a Finnish goalie. He's been playing in Liga on loan this year. He's sub-900 in all of his games. In one game in the AHL, he's sub-900. One game in the NHL, he's 750. And, one, and 13 games in Liga, he's just under 900. This is not, a like, and he's 24. So he's not young. He's not amazing. He's not above 900 even. Like, what, what? There better be some picks coming with this. And obviously if the trade gets uh, keeps going while I'm recording this video, that would be great. I'd like to see if we got picks. But I understand goalie depth is needed. But what's the point of this? Miko Lettinen is someone who guards against Seattle if Dermot was to get it was to get claimed. Or if even he was get to uh, going to get claimed by Seattle. That's where he's there for. I understand we need goalie depth. Hutch has been okay this season. Campbell's been good. I know he's been injured. Freddie's been, eh, but but he's still good. He's still serviceable. He's still a very good goalie. I know we have injuries, but this is not what you do. You could trade, like, a um, pretty low draft pick for someone. Miko Lettinen is security. Miko Lettinen is a cheap contract. Miko Lettinen is everything that Mikheyev was last year. Not quite the player Mikheyev was last year, but he's every single bit of security that you get with a player like that. And I think he's a very solid player. So this does worry me. Obviously, up until the Andreas Janssen trade, I did call Dubas a, a trade wizard. Obviously, that video that I made way back, I was very critical of Dubas at the time. Um, in this, I don't know what to think right now. Is there going to be picks later? Is there going to be not? Right now, based on what we know, I'm saying it's a loss for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I want to hear what you think about this. Please let me know down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Multiple videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching.